guys, it's Jessica from Peace Up Books, and today I'm here with a new reading vlog that I'm really excited for. So I either wanted to do a mafia reading vlog or a historical romance reading vlog, and I had my members vote for my channel members, and they, it was close, but they voted on a mafia romance reading vlog, which I'm really excited because Audible recently had an absolutely amazing sale. I joined Audible for a three month trial that might be still going on. I would check out Audible if I were you, just go to Amazon and maybe even Audible. I just was trying to look at an audiobook of a book and it was like, get it for free with a credit and try Audible for three months. And so that was an amazing deal. Normally it's a one month trial. So three free months and I got access to that sale which had audiobooks like $4. They're originally like 17 to $25. So it was, a steal and lots of Gianna Darling, Sophie Lark, lots of indie romances were on sale so I did stock up on my Gianna Darling books but I'm not reading her for this vlog because I don't have any of her mafia romances left to read but let me pull up my Audible account. So I want to read two physical books so one paperback, one ebook and then two audiobooks for this vlog. So my last reading vlog I did Ruthless Creatures so I'm definitely going to be reading Carnal Urges which is book two and that's by JT Gessinger. I really love the first book and the second book is going to be her friend and her friend was a really interesting character and kind of like started a mafia war so it's gonna be really fun seeing her in the second book so I've heard it's amazing as well so I'm really excited for that audiobook it is only nine and a half hours so it's not too long and then I think I'm gonna go with the Brit by Jodi Ellen Malpas. I was trying to see which Sophie Lark one I had because I only bought the Sophie Lark ones that were only four dollars. I didn't want to buy like six seven dollar audiobooks. I was just limiting myself to four dollars or less. So The Brit I have wanted to read for so long ever since I saw it and I think book two is out already as well. I don't know anything about it. I just know it's called The Brit and I just know it's a mafia romance. So I really want to read that. I also have Savage Lover by Sophie Lark. This is book three in the Brutal Birthright series. I had book five in my hand and I was like, I better double check to see if this is actually the next one in the series. This one is. I don't know how the series order is, but this one says that he's a heartbreaker, a mess maker, a walking disaster. And she's in deep trouble with a dirty cop and the only person who can save her is him. So I'm really excited. I have loved the first two books in the series, so I can't wait to get to the third one. It's gonna be amazing. I love Sophie's book so much. I might download the ebook just so I can read it um, on my Kindle and when I'm like out and about and also on the treadmill when I work out, but I'll also be reading the paperback. I'll probably switch back and forth. But then I wanna read Mafia Mistress. This book I've been seeing everywhere, specifically my friends from TikTok. It just, I love the covers and I don't know anything about the plot, but I wanna read it because it's something that people that I am friends with are loving and it's a mafia romance. So this one, again, I'm not gonna look into the synopsis until I start reading it which I prefer to do. I don't know, do you like have to know the synopsis before going into a book? Because normally I will see it being hyped up by friends and I will remember them talking about it and being interested but completely forget what they talked about and then not want to know more. I like going and not knowing too much about my books. So those are the four that I'm gonna be reading. I'm really, really excited. Uh, it's been a super busy week for me because after getting back from my trip, I just feel like I have been so busy and then I've been getting bogged down with trying to catch up on videos and planning my trip with my sister this summer. I want to start looking into that. We're thinking of going to Seattle together and then just thinking about another trip I want to take this summer possibly. It's just like planning trips is a little stressful and I've been spending all my time just like looking online at options and stuff so I need to put that aside for now. Focus on things I need to get done because I really do need to finish my Historical Hellions book first which is my Historical Romance book club. I have to edit a wrap up tonight and then tomorrow I'm going to be filming for my channel members a day in the life vlog because we assign that to our yearbook kids. Me and my co-teacher assigned a day in the life vlog for our kids. Like they can do it on their phones or on TikTok and we, I actually was volunteered to also do one so I thought it would be fun to actually do it for my members and my sister agreed to have a little feature in there just see her um because it's only my channel members so that's gonna be fun to do tomorrow but that's what i have for you guys so not too many plans this week pretty low-key i'll probably go to my parents i think on saturday and then i have a live show sunday night for historical hellions so yeah those are my plans and i have some author interviews i have planned for march that i'm really excited for so just exciting things happening on the channel but i gotta go do a TikTok and take a picture and then go work out. So I've got a busy day, but I will talk to you guys later. Hey guys, I am currently sprinting with productivity sprints on Tori's channel from Novel Life. It is Saturday and it's um 3.30. I got up, I actually made my bed, changed my sheets today, got some stuff done, and then I 
went to my parents house because my mom is out of town so my sister and i hung out with my dad we got chipotle for lunch and then I came home so that i could catch tori sprints in time so i just got done finishing taking a bunch of instagram photos i take them all on the weekend because of the lighting if i get home i guess it's 3 30 which is around when i would get home and the lighting is actually really good but i'd have to like rush after school but i like taking them on the weekends so i got that done because of her productivity sprints. I do have to finish my uh, Historical Hellions book club pick tonight, but I wanted to update you because while I was taking photos, I listened to some of Carnal Urges and I have to talk about Mafia Mistress. So I am four hours, three hours. Let's talk about Mafia Mistress first. So I'm 40% in and it was funny because I was 40% in Thursday night and Tori had messaged me saying she started it or I saw she started. I don't even remember. She asked me how far I was. I was like 40%. She's like, I'm just starting it. She read both books in one night and so I have not been able to read any more since she started and I think she gave them four and a half and four stars so she really enjoyed them which is exciting because I'm obsessed. I did not know it was a betrothed father's romance so she is being betrothed to another mafia for like a political alliance she was planning on going to college though she didn't want to she just wanted to be independent and she is very protective of her sisters as well and so she's basically like kidnapped and taken to italy by our hero i don't remember his name i don't remember her name frankie I think they call her Frankie. I think it's Francesca. Um, but she is trying her hardest to like escape. She's very smart about it though, which I really like about her character. A lot of times they're really dumb about escaping, but she's actually a really smart character and I really love her as a heroine. And she's super attracted to the dad and he's super attracted to her, but he's really angry that he's attracted to her and she's growing close to his son, like his really good friends. And so I'm loving this as a mafia romance so, so much. It is so good. Like I'm obsessed and I cannot wait to read book two. And so this book is going so well. Like I want to drop everything and just read it. I would have already finished by now if I didn't have to read my historical hellions book, but I'm reading Carnal Urges as well on audio and I'm three hours in. So, ooh, I just started it. I listened to it on my run this morning. I got to run out side and then I was listening to more doing stuff like my pictures and it is so good as well so normally I don't like heroines like our main character I think it's is it Sasha so it's with an S I don't remember what her name is but it's because I'm not like physically reading I'm just listening but I normally hate characters like her she's very like I know the guys love me and guys fight over me and she's very snarky it is perfection. Her with our hero, it is so good because he kidnaps her. She started a mafia war in book one and she didn't even know she started. She didn't even know the guy she dated was in the mafia, but she's not terrified of anybody. She's not scared that she's kidnapped. She's not scared of our hero. And our hero is like, who is this woman and why is she not scared? of the fact that I'm in the mafia like what is her deal and so he's really frustrated with her and they banter so much and it's so good and he kidnaps her and it's interesting because I don't know if they specifically said why they've kidnapped her because her friend's boyfriend from book one is the Russian mafia and he and the hero in this one's the Irish mafia and there's so many mafias fighting right now because there's a mafia war going on and her best friend's boyfriend is trying to, to save her <laughs> and some people want her dead and her ex-boyfriend is coming after her as well who's part of a different mafia and so it's really funny how like all these people are fighting for her and it's very mafia i love when there's like actually like action-packed stuff happening like she was kidnapped and like in the middle of a gunfight so it's a lot more entertaining when it's more suspense driven so i'm absolutely loving this so much and i'm just like in such a mafia mood that i'm so excited for every book i'm reading for this vlog i can't wait to finish mafia mistress i can't wait to jump into sophie lark i can't wait to then try out the brit which that one's the one i'm most nervous about because it's the one i've heard the least about i remember seeing the cover and really wanting to read it but i haven't read that author have i even read that author before i don't even remember so i am just like loving life right now reading these books and yeah i have some exciting collabs coming up soon on my channel which i'm excited for so i just feel like closer than ever to people on booktube and i just love the community so much and doing different things with them and i might do some more reading sprints on my channel so if that's something you're interested in let me know because i know a couple of people have mentioned they would love to see more reading sprints from me so i could do that maybe like one or two hour reading sprints i could totally do that so yeah tomorrow's a filming day for me because I did my parents house today I don't have to go over tomorrow so tomorrow I have to film a giant book haul which I'm dreading filming because it takes so long to film and it takes so long to edit and I want to get that up on Monday and then I have to film a collab video I'm posting on Wednesday which is Damaged Heroes which I'm doing with Sam and Tori this vlog's gonna go up Friday I just want to give myself enough time to read these books without feeling rushed so it's gonna be a really fun week of content I also announced my 
live shows with Gianna Darling and Joanna Shoup, which is happening in March. And then I have my Vicon Love Me live show in March. So March is going to be a crazy amazing month and I'm so excited for this month. It's just going to be so good. And then I have spring break and Outlander comes back tomorrow and it is just crazy. And Bridgerton comes out this month, like March has a lot going on and I'm so excited for everything. So I'm going to go and read my Historical Hellions book, which is Ice and Rapture by Connie Mason. So I'm going to go read that and then hopefully read like the entirety of Mafia Mistress tonight because I just want to read that book. And I've only gotten to read it when I exercise. Like that's the only time I've let myself read it this week because I've had to read this dang book. So I have 150 pages left in my book that I have to finish by seven o'clock tonight. And then I'm going to definitely, oh, but I have the Love is Blind reunion to watch. So I'm definitely going to do that tonight. So I don't know. I have a packed weekend of exciting stuff to do. So I'm going to go so that I can, their sprint is over in a minute. So I got to catch up with our productivity sprint and then read more of my historical romance. But I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Hi. She's being really annoying today, but you know, that's fine. I strolled the dogs right after my run this morning. So they're typically used to them in the afternoon, but the afternoon it was 72 degrees today is the high which is nuts so i did not walk them in the afternoon i don't like to take them when it's really hot out so they got their exercise this morning and now lily's like okay what do i do now she is being crazy she's just upstairs with me i was sewing a little and ironing some sleeves but happy sunday my sunday went by so fast i did a lot this morning i cut fabric i organized my books because i did a book haul today i filmed my book haul i edited my book haul those took way too long, but I finished my audiobook while doing a lot of stuff. So I finished Carnal Urges. I think that's what it's called. The second book, it'll be here. Five out of five stars. It is probably my favorite book of the month. It's probably gonna be my top 10 of the year. This book was so good. It's a kidnapping romance and he definitely didn't want to fall for her. Sloane is her name. She was such a fun heroine because she wasn't afraid of like what was happening to her but she wasn't stupid about it because like i'm annoyed when heroines act really annoying about being like i'm not scared of you kind of thing and she wasn't she was like very refreshing very funny and i loved her relationship with declan i think was his name i love declan so much like they they were so good together and then lots of action happened at the end and i loved it and i'm interested to see what's gonna happen in book three so this was so good and she has some reservations in her own past because of how she was treated and definite trigger warnings though for like fat phobia weight loss eating disorder self-harm suicide like that's all really thrown in here pretty much around the same time when she talks about her past so know that going in but i loved love 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 their romance i love the kidnapper trope it was so good and i loved how all the guys just fell in love with her and not like in love in love but they were just like really liked her as a person it was really cute so five out of five stars and i'm still reading mafia mistress so i had to put it down to read my historical hellions book but i don't know if i told you i started maybe like tuesday or wednesday tori started after i did and finished book one and book two in like a night and then sam decided to pick up last night and she finished in a night and i'm just like i need to finish this book like you guys are reading too fast and both of them finished and i'm still 55 percent in i'm loving it but i'm still 55 percent in so there's nothing new to, to update you on mafia mistress i'm still really enjoying it i'm hoping to finish tonight i gotta paint my nails and then upload my book haul and I was watching Sam's vlog while I was doing stuff. So Sam from Sam Reads a Little, she did a vlog reading Cheyenne's book recommendations. So I will link Sam and Tori down below and make sure you check them out because I love them dearly and I will talk about them a lot because we have not stopped talking since we hung out last weekend. So yeah, I think that's all I have to update you on. My sister just finished Crescent City 2 right before going to work. So now I really want to read that. But make sure you watch my book haul if you're interested because that took... 45 minutes to film and like an hour and a half to edit and I don't like filming or editing them but I know you guys really really love them so that's why I do them so check that out I'm going to be working on some scheduling stuff right now and then read Mafia Mistress and Outlander was on today a little disappointed in the episode I've just been getting kind of bored with Outlander lately I just feel like it's not as good as it used to be but I'm still gonna watch so yeah I'm gonna go and I'll talk to you guys probably tomorrow after I go back to work. Hello everybody, happy Monday. It's another Monday back at work. Everything's fine. But I have been just dying to just read. So I finally finished Mafia Mistress. 
took me forever. I kept on falling asleep every night I wanted to read because with my Kindle, I just set it up, lay on my side, and fall asleep within five minutes. So I need to stop doing that. So I have the paperback of my next book. I could have easily gotten it on KU, but I was like, no no ebook in bed so i really enjoy mapping mistress i'm giving it four and a half out of five stars because i love their dynamic together and how obsessed he was with her and especially because like she was supposed to marry his son but i will say like once they decided to be together the next like 30 percent of the book was just see me time and i was like is the plot gonna go anywhere anymore so i was waiting and waiting for like stuff to actually happen so that's why i think it took me so long to get from like 45 percent to 70 percent because i read 7100 all in one night tonight so it just took me forever to get past them deciding to, to try something together i mean she's just his mistress and there's a trope i normally don't like i did not mind definitely left on the cliffhanger so I definitely have to read book two I'm not going to read it for this vlog though because I need to move on I need to read Jennifer Armentrout's new book before the 15th because I got a copy of that early so I need to finish this vlog so I can do a vlog for that book so I don't want to add any more books to this video but really enjoyed Mafia Mistress solid start to a new Mafia duet and I think book three might be about different characters but I'm really excited I picked it up. I, like I said, I love when a hero is just like head over heels for the heroine, and he definitely was. There was some drama with his son, who she became really close friends with, which I really liked, and it was just an interesting look at the mafia world, and I just liked the romance, and I really loved our heroine a lot, and how she wanted to be independent and go to school, and she was being smart about trying to escape too, but honestly fell for him as well so really enjoy this one i started the brit by jody ellen malpas and i am pretty far into it i think i've gotten like at least five hours of the audiobook read but it's a long audiobook i think it's 12 hours so i read a lot today on my way to and from school and during my haul duty today so i'm trying to open it but this one started out so good and it's still going well so our hero grew up his mother died he's being raised by an abusive stepfather and these kids are bullying him and like cut his face open so he has a scar on his face because of it and this mafia man finds him and he's like hey kid here's like some money and then he sees the kids our heroes stepdad and he is like he kills him so our hero is then raised by this mafia boss and he's pretty much his adopted dad i'm five hours in so i have about seven and a half hours left but he's raised in the mafia world and he is british but he's brought to america and he is involved in business and our heroine is being blackmailed into sleeping with men for information so she is currently the mistress of this political guy i don't remember what he is he's married but she is his mistress and she's getting information giving it to someone not because she wants to because she's been blackmailed to and so our hero kidnaps her because he wants information on that man and he's instantly drawn to her he knows she has been hurt in the past so it's another kidnapping romance and i feel like almost all of these are kidnapping because the first one carnal urges literal kidnapping the second one she's forced against her will to go to italy to marry someone and then this one he kidnaps her as well she's been hurt in the past and so she understands wanting to get revenge she literally sees him kills people does not bat an eye she has gone through so much in her life and so has he it's very interesting to see their dynamic together and i'm interested to see what else is going to happen it is very kind of not political driven, but like there's a lot more with the mafia and the politics going on that I'm having a harder time following because I'm reading two mafia books at the same time, which I should not be doing. When I have an audiobook and an ebook slash paperback, I try to listen to different genres read different genres because i will get their plots confused so when i was listening to the brit then i was switching over to mafia mistress i was like wait is this from this book or this book i can't do that so i need to like make sure i keep this straight but i do remember i really really liked the beginning and our hero is just definitely very interesting and he had a moment where he's very protective of her and he like shielded her body when they were gunfire so he would like rather save her and one of his partners who's like his closest friend said like you need to be careful because you are being distracted by her which is also what happened in mafia mistress so i really love when the hero starts falling and everyone else sees it and they're like you need to check yourself and they're like don't threaten me and like don't worry about it but also like don't talk crap about her like someone called her a bad name and he's like say that again and i'll literally kill you so it's really good so far and i'm excited to read more it's super long though so i don't know what else can happen in seven and a half hours but we'll see i think we're gonna need to learn more about our heroine and her 
what's going on with her. Maybe she'll open up to the hero. I don't know, but I'm really enjoying it. So I'm going to go wash my face, get in bed, and read some Sophie Lark next. And then we have Miss Lily hiding under some blankets over there. She's so cute. Feeling a little bit stressed at work lately. Everything's happening around the same time. End of the quarters this week, which is earlier than normal. State testing for English 9 and 10 is next week, which is earlier than normal. A month earlier than normal, so I have a month less time to instruct my students for their state tests, which they have to pass to graduate. And it's part of my evaluation, so yay me. And because it's the end of the quarter, grades are due next Wednesday. I'm also a yearbook teacher and our yearbook is the final yearbook is due Monday. So these three things are all piling up. I still have 11 essays to grade. I graded five when I got home today because I didn't have any time at school today to do it. Because so I've had a meeting Monday and Wednesday during my prep period. So I've only literally had my lunch off <laughs> and that's it. And I'm not gonna grade during my lunch because I wanna like not go crazy. And because we're ready for a state test, I'm literally instructing every day, every second basically, or if they're working, I'm still around answering questions, making sure everyone understands. There's no time for me to do any grading during class. So it's just been a lot this past week. And today, especially, I didn't even get to go to the bathroom until my lunch period because I had a meeting during my fourth period and classes. And so it was a lot today. And then I had a staff meeting at the end of the day. And so I didn't even get to grade anything because I have to grade five essays a day if I want to get them done by Friday so that we can review them together on Monday before their tests on Tuesday and Wednesday. So it's just a lot happening. So I'm a little behind on reading but i've finished a lot so i just want to finish this book today i don't know if i can i have 50 percent left but i finished the brit it was so good i'm giving it five stars there was a lot more action than i thought there would be and the ending i was like obsessed with and i could not stop listening i had like 45 minutes left when i got to school and i was like but i don't want to go in because i need to figure out what happens next i really love their dynamics and how the heroine has been used to being used and just taking advantage of her whole life and how our hero really wants to protect her and get back at the people who hurt her. So definitely touch her and you die kind of vibes. And he doesn't want to fall for her though because he is a bit damaged himself and he doesn't want to love because he feels like that's a weakness. And I just really enjoyed how he fell for her, especially because she was someone who had secrets of her own working for someone who was blackmailing her. So there's a book too that I'm really interested in reading. And even though this was a 12 hour audiobook, which is pretty long, I really loved how quick everything was and how there was so much to it, especially at the end where you're like, well, what else can happen? You're like, oh, lots more can happen. And so tons of mafia content loved our hero as this like british mafia guy and it was just so good loved it i'm so happy i picked it up but i'm reading savage lover and i'm not loving it i'm 50 percent of the way through feels very high school even though i think i don't remember if they said it's been six or eight years since they graduated high school but i'm like guys you're like 24 or even 26 stop hanging out at parties and literally having no responsibilities and so it's very annoying and it just feels very high school because they're still around people they went to high school with and like the petty mean girls and like going to the house to party all the time and i like our heroine she works as a mechanic she takes care of her brother and she has her dad doesn't know her mom well she doesn't know her mom but her mom's not in the picture and nero though is our hero and it's not really mafia they talk about how he's like part of this big mafia family but there's none of that in there. Like, we don't even see his dad ever. And it's just, he likes to steal things and, like, rob places. And so he's planning a bank heist. And I'm like, where's my mafia? Especially from books one and book two, especially. Like, this is such a different vibe than the rest of the series. And I don't care. And there's, like, barely any development of the romance. They've just kissed a couple times. But I'm like, do you know each other? Do you like each other? Like, where's this tension between you? There's really none. So... I don't really care. I don't really care about the characters. I don't care about the romance and the plot. I'm like, where is this going? Like she is being blackmailed by a cop right now, but that's it. And I'm just confused. So I'm not loving it. I asked Tori and Sam, I was like, have you read this one? I can't remember. And Tori's like, I skipped that one because I was told it wasn't good. And so she didn't even read this one, but I can't read a series and skip a book. Then when I feel like all the stories are important, like they are in this world for the next books. Sam only re has read books one and two, just like I had. So uh, I'm not going to DNF this, but I'm. it's good to know now that like this is a, not a huge favorite, but like the reviews on Goodreads are so good. So 
I don't know. I'm just not loving it. But I'm reading it really fast and I plan on reading it tonight. So hopefully I finish tonight and don't fall asleep like I have every other night. Because I need to edit this and get it up by Friday. But I hope it gets better. But I don't have high hopes. But I've loved everything else in this vlog. So if it's just one not so great book out of all of them. But it's Sophie Larkin. I haven't given her book a bad rating before. Except for maybe, well, the second book in her, like, devil you know, whatever. Her serial killer romance um there are no saints and there is no devil i think i gave the second book three stars so i don't want to give this three stars but i might i don't know we'll see hey guys it is thursday i finally finished this i sped through it in two days i didn't enjoy it so i think i'm giving you like a two and a half star this felt like a first book and I'm so shocked that she wrote the first two and then this one, I'm assuming she wrote them in order because the first two books were so good. We had such good tension between the characters, good development between their romance, good plots, mafia plots. There's literally no mafia in here. He's part of the mafia. We've got her being taken advantage of by a cop to try to get some drug dealers down and he is trying to rob a bank which also felt very out of nowhere and I just did not enjoy this. Their romance did not really have a lot of depth to it. I looked on Goodreads and many of my friends agree. I was especially surprised because Crystal had said pretty much the same things that I thought that there was really no development to their romance and I didn't feel like that much chemistry between them especially when they first were interested in each other. I was like why are, why are you wanting each other? Like, I have no idea why. Felt very, very high school the way that they spent their free time, like, at parties together and, like, not really focusing on anything else. Like, there was no drive or ambition for them. I mean, she was concerned about, like, her brother graduating high school and going off to college and her dad got sick. And so, like, she was, like, worrying about that. But I also feel like she didn't really mention work a lot, really, at all. And, like, I don't even know what he does. Like, did he go to school, college? I don't even know if he went to college. Did they mention that? I don't know. They didn't feel like adults. Felt very high school. And I just did not feel any of their romance at all. I didn't care when they finally got together. I didn't really have any sort of connection to their characters at all. The plot, I feel like not a lot really even happened. So I didn't really care. So really sad about that, especially because she's a mechanic and like they bond over cars, which I thought was really cool. And there's like one short racing scene. I would have loved that more fleshed out because I really do love racing scenes in my books, especially like dark romances. But it was just very disappointing. Let me know if you read this. Like I think I told you guys that Tori skipped it because I'm pretty sure she heard it wasn't that great. So... I'm very sad that I didn't love this, but it's okay. I read it and I didn't want to skip it though because I want to finish her backlist and read the whole series and I would have been so bothered by the fact that I didn't finish one of the books in there. So I did read four books for this video and I'm pretty sure I gave three out of the four at least four stars. Found a new favorite probably of the year and JT Geisinger actually just released her special edition of the first book of that series, which I know Madison from Paperback Princess has had for a while because I think it was accidentally put on Amazon and she got it and then it got taken down but she's selling it on her website so I ran to her website and it's $20 but there's $9 shipping so I decided to just go ahead and buy the paperback of book two as well even though it's the normal cover they'll both be signed and personalized by her though so it was two books for $50 instead of one book for 30 so I thought 49 actually so I figured okay it's fine because the, the special edition cover is really pretty so I went ahead and bought that from her website and I'm really excited for that to come but I'm excited I tried out the Brit I was pleasantly surprised and the audiobook was really good for that one and what did I read for the first book of this oh my Mafia Mistress. I really need to read book two because I really enjoyed that one as well. So I'm just loving Mafia romances so, so much. I'm so excited I read them and just one miss, but I'm super excited to continue with the series. I think I have the next one on audio, so I'll probably jump into that soon so I can finish the series soon. That's all I have. Let me know if you have any other Mafia romances for me, especially if they're by lesser known authors because I feel like The Brit and Mafia Mistress are ones that I don't see too, too many people talking about, especially on booktube. So let me know if you have more recommendations. Let me know if you've read these. And let me know if you want a vlog with a specific trope you want me to read, like I did Touch Her and You Die, and then I read Mafia. Let me know. And that's all I have. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye.